Well, Shivers are the first. You've been possessed. We'll see what shop you claim. And I'm just waiting on them to mine out the last chunk of adamantine on this floor. So we're moving down rather nicely through it. It started off rather small, but man, it's really starting to hand out. Shiverzar has claimed a jeweler's workshop. You'll create a perfect jewel for us, won't you? A beautiful piece of jewelry for our queen to wear. She is arriving, right? She's heard about our wealth, about all the glory to be had here. Surely the capital is ready to be moved. Dark Child the Second. You've got a golden or a green glass vial filled with red currant cordal. You are a man of exquisite taste. You didn't want one of those lead flasks. Um, let's see. I want to get a better look at you real quick. Any relationships? Nope. You worship Erdem, though. That's our mummy god. Uh, you've been happy, complained of thirst, dined in the legendary dining room. You've been satisfied, and you're a moss dwarf. You can live anywhere. It's easy for you to survive. You are tough, but susceptible to disease. Well, keep on mining that and extract that adamantine for us. And try not to break that glass vial. They're just sparring up there. Come on, come mine this out so I can figure out where the next downward stairwell is going to go. Failed stairwell over here, apparently. How far down does that go? Apparently I'd plan to dig to the bottom here. The very bottom floor is 88. We're almost to the bottom then. Just what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, something? 9 floors to go, basically? 11, maybe? We'll get there. Endowed Pride shows up. <laughs> And the keeper from Sedectoy has shown up to steal the spotlight. Too bad. The last chunk of a man team is mined out there, and it's still molten rock all the way around there. I'm going to wait until we run out of these pieces, once they're done extracting these, and I'm done making suits out of it. Then we'll dig down to the next floor. Where's Catfish at? He should... I want to find him real quick. I want to see if he is wearing the suit. I did assign him the suit because he's got the adamantine mace. So we might as well not half-ass it and just give him a full suit. Where are you at, the catfish? T-H-E catfish. There he is. The catfish one, Aziz Domas. He's got 18 kills. You better not go berserk. He's got an adamantine gauntlet. A shield, high boot, left gauntlet. He's piecing it together. A mail shirt. A masterful adamantine mail shirt created by Silab Urist Gulanaz. And there's his mace. Stroke fragments, the wonder of stability. Uh, yep, so we'll just have our, our forges here continue to pump out these adamantine suits too. Pretty much just doing one a piece, and these suits do get the one-horned helms because they are special enough for that. And I think we should have enough adamantine for about five or six suits by now, maybe more than that. I don't want the worthless helm. There we go. I might make a few weapons as well. But we'll see. So far, everyone's just got whatever we bought from the traders in the previous years. And a few copper weapons that I've thrown together. A couple copper short swords. So it is 13th Galena late summer. We're up to 122 population. I think the last person we lost was... It was right here, wasn't it? Box McCloud, who just went insane. For some reason, he couldn't handle duty anymore. And the Azrakam Elves from Okarma Darky have arrived. We may or may not trade with them, we'll see. Depends what they brought. If it's worth hauling any goods over there and taking our dwarves off of their training dummies. How's everybody doing on their skills? I am Lick. You are an adequate swords dwarf. Our Baron is an accomplished swords dwarf. Apex, an adequate swords dwarf. Silent Seven, Accomplished Swords Dwarf. And Jay Krittner, an adequate, adequate Swords Dwarf. Let's see. Reverend Hellface, a competent Swords Dwarf, competent Archer, and a Legendary Engraver. 
Let's see, I think I did engrave a few more things somewhere. Or I was planning on it. Yeah, that's right. I smoothed down these pillars because these will be the next four engravings. This is um, kind of a, I guess, just another bedroom section close down by the volcano. And this will be their small little cafe dining hall. I think we better put some, some of our food stockpiles here. Bring down barrels of plump helmet meals. The, the best, most exquisite, lavish meals that we've got. Well, Shivrazar, you have created Lectab Midor, a citrine scepter. We have got a huge collection of fancy scepters now. This is called Lure Powers, valued at 39,600 dwarf bucks. All crafts dwarfship is of the highest quality, and it is encrusted with orthoclays, decorated with eland bone, and encircled with bands of citrine and arachna silk. This object is adorned with hanging rings of cotton fiber and oak, and menaces with spikes of hematite. On the item is an image of two camel fiends and citrine, and on the item is an image of Joku Seas Crowns, the Nord and Poplar. Joku Seas Crowns is traveling, and it relates to his journey in the year 19 to the Hill of Coils again. I'm gonna have to look him up in Legends mode. Oh yeah, and we have a bit of a flooding problem. Um, our our pump operator ran away. Never seemed to come back. So now um. I don't even know if they can pump because I'm not sure if they'll even make it there because of the water. So it's flooding. I've got the lever pulled up top. Um, they'll just have to deal with it. Oh well. It's going to spread mud and blood all over the place. It'll be good fertilizer for the saplings, I guess. Uh, got a couple of. Got actually all of the squad leaders pretty much set up with adamantine suits. So they all will be charging and leading their troops in the battle with the finest, the finest armors. Let's see. Looks like all of the forges have finally shut down. We got all the cobaltite and tetrahedrite smelted almost. Now we're just making adamantine wafers. We got a little bit of ores left. Um, let's get a lot of people making these wafers. If you can run a smelter, go down there and take your turn. Speaking of wafers, we're down to four. Four of these little nugget clusters left down here. I uh, still haven't decided where we're going to dig down at. I'm scared. We'll dig in the corner maybe here. Underneath the, the magma sea. And there was three. So I reckon by... 323 we'll be digging down one more floor and up top I am separating these two sides of the keep up here this side is going to have just an all archer squad and the archer squad is going to man the ramparts up here um, and then we'll have the melee squad over on this side they'll both share the bedrooms down here I'm trying to get this more uncluttered there's plants and trees and tube worms and I think that's what that is. Tube things growing up everywhere. Yay, another piece of the road is almost done. Triple H is building it. Well, we've got Toast the Miner on the way to dig the next downward stairwell. And the up stairwell, well, and then the next section, provided we can get through the rock. Trying to dig a downward stairwell here through the adamantine, but there was soft molten metal there. And I'm also going to turn this room, this piece of, uh, I guess, real estate now that's inside this vein of adamantine, we're going to turn this into a small barracks. Probably just for a squad of two or three, maybe four at most. And they'll live down here and probably even train down here in this small room. Looks like there's more metal there, or more semi-molten metal there, dang it. I guess we'll try to dig a, dig a downward stairwell and then another up one there. So it'll probably take some time for the next person, the next miner, to get the order to come mine this out. It is currently 28th limestone, early autumn. And we're just getting some, 
some precautions set up. Oh shit. You have discovered an eerie cavern. The air above the dark stone floor is alive with vortices of purple light and dark boiling clouds. Seemingly bottomless glowing pits mark the surface. That was... Um, right... Horrifying screams come from the darkness below. They echo up through our little chamber. Let's zoom out. I want to see what's going on. This is where we are. No, I don't want to meet with the keeper liaison right now. This is not good timing. What do we have here? That says soft molten rock and open space. It goes down, and there's a whole bunch of stuff here. More open space. Brutes, ash, ash brutes, white devil, wrath of snow, ash goat. Ghost, flame demon, a whole bunch of demons here. What's our unit list say? We have anything listed here? Underworld, oh my god, a whole page here. Another page, another page. Three pages of different types of demons boiling demons, flames demons, ash demons. That is down, down, down. Let's zoom back in here. That's the depths of hell. And that is right below our floor where we dug here. So the adamantine stops there. We didn't get get a stairwell, unfortunately, because we dug down and automatically hit, what, open space, it looks like? Hmm. Okay, well, first thing I want to do is get someone to try to build a floor over this and seal it off. Build it out of mica. It's the closest thing. We'll unpause it real quick. And Mr. Tokyo is down here, sleeping at the moment. Just following this hole down. The Jin Lord. Down, down, down. It is hell. There's open space all over the place, glowing from below. And that's as low as I can go. Floor 88. I can't see anything else down there. It's just barren and empty. I don't think those demons have started flying out yet. So it is third sandstone mid-autumn. And we've penetrated our way to the underworld, I think. The demons are moving. Let's get a closer look at this red monster. A great blob composed of flame. It has wings and it has a bloated body. Beware of the webs. A three-eyed demon. A gigantic three-eyed condor. It has a round shell and it belches and croaks. Its chestnut feathers are long and narrow. Beware of its deadly dust. A waxwing. A huge one-eyed waxwing. It has three narrow tails and it squirms and fidgets. Its slate gray feathers are long and narrow. Beware of its webs. Um, a haunt of salt. A huge quadruped composed of salt. It has a round shell and it has a bloated body. So I guess they're all there just floating around, flying around. They don't seem to be making their way over here yet. If they come over here and start flying up this little chute, then I know we'll be in trouble. Looks like I am Lick is constructing the floor right now. He seals it over silently. Perhaps before the beasts had a chance to get a scent of the dwarves up here. So now we know. Look at all that adamantine too. I bet you it stretches out and around all the way down. I guess right here where my mouse is, no, right here where my mouse is, we'll build a down and an up stairwell so we can puncture that ring, and then we can start mining down, 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 down again. We will do that whenever we are good and ready. That's going to be just a bit, maybe this, maybe next year, maybe this year sometime. I'm not sure if our military is up to it or not. We'll see.